Hey everybody, I'm Sain Das and I'm a Solutions Architect with AWS. In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to automatically scale your Amazon Redshift Data Warehouse to handle unexpected spikes in user activity by using the concurrency scaling feature. With concurrency scaling, you can support virtually unlimited concurrent users and queries with consistently fast performance. Now, let's take a quick look at a hypothetical scenario where concurrency scaling could help. Big Bank has just set up their data warehouse and have three main groups of users. ETL users, BI users, and data scientists. Due to the criticality of their work, it has been determined that BI users will have the highest priority followed by the ETL users and then the data scientists. The workload management queues have also been set up accordingly. But now, the BI users are also expected to have certain times during the month when higher than usual user activity is expected and we need to make sure that the data warehouse can scale to meet these spikes in demand. Let's now take a look at how we can set this up for Big Bang. This is the AWS console. We will type Redshift to go to the Redshift console. From the Redshift console, we will click Clusters on the left panel, which will take us to a page that shows us the list of Redshift clusters that we currently have in this account. Now, we will click the Redshift cluster to which we want to apply the changes. Go ahead and click on Properties and scroll down to the Database Configuration section. The parameter group attached to your cluster determines the workload management settings for your cluster. Click on the Big Bang WLM parameter group to make changes to it. To modify the workload queues, click on Edit Workload Queues. We will now change the concurrency scaling mode for the BI user queue from Off to Auto. This will enable concurrency scaling for this queue. What this means is that whenever there is a spike in usage that starts increasing query wait time on this queue, Redshift will automatically spin up another cluster to process those queries and will shut it down when the demand subsides. Now click Save to save your changes to the parameter group. Here, you can control the number of concurrency scaling clusters that Redshift can spin up by clicking Parameters. You can modify the Max Concurrency Scaling Clusters parameter to adjust this value. For the purpose of the demo, we will change this to 5. We have now enabled concurrency scaling for this queue. Now let's see it in action. To demonstrate the concurrency scaling feature, I have kicked off a large number of queries at the same time to show you how Redshift will automatically scale to handle these spikes in your workload. Click on Query Monitoring and then on Workload Concurrency and scroll down to the Concurrency Scaling Activity chart. You can see that additional clusters have been added to your data warehouse to handle the spike in user activity. You can see that it initially ramped up to 4 clusters and then 5 as the demand grew. Once the concurrency demands reduce, Redshift will automatically scale back the concurrency scaling clusters without any manual intervention. An important point to note is that you accrue one hour of concurrency scaling credit for every 24 hours that your cluster is in use. You can accrue up to 30 hours and over 97% of our customers do not need more than that and do not incur any additional charges for concurrency scaling. You can also set up usage limits to ensure that you stay within this quota. Let's see how we can do that. From the clusters page, choose your cluster and click on Configure Usage Limits on the Action menu. Here, click Configure Usage Limits in the Concurrency Scaling Usage Limits section. You can set limits at the daily, weekly, and monthly time periods. And you can decide to log this for later, get an alert, or disable the feature itself. For this demo, we will decide to log concurrency scaling activity of one hour or more during a single day. 
and we will disable the feature if it exceeds 30 hours per month. Once the changes have been made, click Configure to save the changes. To summarize, you can enable concurrency scaling to automatically scale your Redshift data warehouse to handle peaks and concurrency needs. You can also configure usage controls to manage your concurrency scaling usage and associated costs. Remember that you accrue one hour of concurrency scaling credits for every 24 hours that your cluster is in use, up to a total of 30 hours, and this gets reset every month. That brings us to the end of this demo on concurrency scaling. Thank you for watching.